Welcome back to GTU on this Monday. We are talking now about connecting people who've been impacted by addiction, whether that be personally or through a loved one. Joining me now to talk about the Healing Utah Success Summit coming up this month is Al Richards, along with Curtis Marsh and Brad Newfeld. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Glad you are here. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank this you. is on April 15th. Yes. Al, tell me what it's all about. <clears throat> Man, it's, it's all about inspiration. Right, that was one of the reasons why we started this a year ago, was to bring people in to inspire them, let them know recovery is possible, and also to let those who have family members who have loved ones that are battling addiction, to let them know that it is possible, that recovery is possible, and to let them know that you still have to love them, right? You still have to give them support. And you know, both Curtis and I, we have battled addiction. Mallory, who's not here, she's battled addiction. And it's a tough fight. And so we wanted to put an event on where we could inspire and educate people about addiction. Curtis, is it a daily fight? For me, I've been blessed. It's, it's really not. I, January 1st, 2010, um, I, I'm a recovering addict alcoholic. And uh, January 1st, 2000, I just aligned myself with better choices, new connections, um, got rid of the internal pain that I was carrying. And um, I've been blessed to not have to fight that daily. I know a lot of people do. It's a, it's a, it's a challenge and uh, for those on both sides of addiction. But uh, I've been blessed and I'm surrounded by you know, just great friends and family and, and support. So. Brad, you deal with the mental health side of yes. all of this. And how difficult is it to get to the space that Curtis is in? Oh, it's, it's, a, it, it's a, a big challenge. I, I don't know how else to say it. I, I understand. I have never uh, battled addiction. However, I truly understand what it takes. And to see these guys fight, it's very inspirational to me. And I've been in the mental health industry for over 30 years, helping people with addiction and giving them tools and skills on how they can overcome these things. And it is, it's a fight. And you just have to keep going until you find the one thing that just inspires you and just gives you that fight, like Curtis is saying. To, and to do it. What about for people out there that love and support addicts? What would be your message to them? Never give up on them, ever, ever, ever. As frustrating as it is, that's one thing that, that happens with, I know a lot of families, they just get to the point where they just totally give up. And I understand why. It's it's because it's very frustrating to get them to a certain point and then just watch them fall back down. But just know that every time they, they relapse, it's actually taking one more step to recovery. I know it's a weird thing to think about, but if you do, you yeah, just got to stick with them and keep going. Al, would you say summits like this and support like this and people gathering together is one of the keys? Oh, absolutely. You bet. I, I'm a firm believer that when a family member goes into recovery, I really do believe that the family needs to go into recovery as well. Because we don't understand it, right? We don't understand. It's easy for us to say, just stop. Those talons are buried so deep, it's really hard to get out like what Brad and Curtis was talking about. So with this event, we're, we're educating people a little bit more to say, hey, look, this is what it takes to go through recovery. Because I've got friends now in the recovery realm, man, they battle, they battle hard. It took my wife seven years to get out of her alcoholism. And she's 27 months sober now and it's to watch her go through what she went through it's tough and it was hard for me because i didn't understand it even though i battled my own addiction but mine was a little different where when i was done i was done i didn't go through any recovery centers nothing it was just i was just done and for people who like my wife who have had a battle and battle and battle this event man it's it's going to inspire people and it's going to let them know this is what they can do as family members to help their loved ones. Brad, if people out there are debating, do I go to an event like this, what would your message be to them? Oh, oh absolutely. You're, and the, to me, the best place to learn how to do your recovery is to learn from other people who have been there and done that. Uh, find somebody who's been through similar circumstances that you've been through or been in sim similar situations. Find out what they have done to overcome and try to mirror what they've done. I, I found much success with that over the years. Matter of fact, I'm going to be there to, to teach people what I call the 10 mindsets of a winner, which is a, a model that I've developed to help people to 
to find that within them, that strength within them to overcome this. And we're also going to teach them some tools and skills and strategies on on how to deal with their personal challenges. Curtis, you're nodding. <laughs> Your final no, thoughts here. We have a couple no. seconds. He, uh, the opposite of addiction is connection. Mm -hmm. And that's the cure. Well and said. if you can connect with another human being, with many other human beings who have gone through the same thing, you will rise above. It's an anomaly that most people do, but uh, it's possible. And we're here to pay forward our success. Healing Utah Success Summit, everybody. It is coming up on April 15th. It is there in Sandy. This is for everyone. Times on your screen and the location. We'll put a link on our website, abc4.com slash GTU. Al, Curtis, and Brad, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate Appreciate you. Thank you.